Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's January 20th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. So another year, week of, uh, of lower muni bond yields. What kind of activity did you see in the market? Sure. So we saw another strong week in the market last week. Inflows continued for a second consecutive week, which definitely is a new trend. Um, so we saw another billion and a half come into the market last week. We also saw treasuries rally across the curve. Uh, the 10-year as of this morning was about 14 basis points tighter, and the 30-year was about 11 basis points tighter. Munis did outperform last week with both the 10-year and the 30-year about 17 basis points tighter on the week, which brought the 30-year ratio to just over 88% as of this morning. We also saw a pretty busy new issue calendar this week. It was over 10 billion. BAM had an active week pricing around 435 million across 14 series in nine states. And just a couple of deals to highlight from this week. Um, there was 126 million Hazelwood School District in Missouri, which was priced by Stiefel. The 81 million Sands ISD deal in Texas, which was priced by Raymond James. Just to jump in for a second on the Sands transaction, that's an interesting transaction because it's a trend we've seen a little bit earlier or so far in this year of Texas school districts that would normally uh, use the permanent school fund to secure their bonds using uh, bond insurance instead. Those bonds obviously were insured by BAM. Um, and uh, we created a, a Credit Insights video about that credit, which you can see elsewhere on our YouTube site. Just uh, click the link above. And then in the competitive space, we saw a 70 million board of education of the township of Montclair, New Jersey, which was bought by RBC. And then as we look to next week, uh, the calendar appears to be a little bit lighter. It's just about five and a half billion, but a few deals that we'll be watching here at BAM. There's a 27 million Heber Light and Power Company in Utah that will be priced by Stiefel. And then a 17 million Corgan and Camden ISD in Texas, which is going to be priced by Oppenheimer. And certainly this past week's activity is a little out of character for the market in January. Usually there's there's less supply uh, getting up to $10 million, $10 billion, particularly in a uh, holiday shortened week after the Martin Luther King holiday was a bit of a surprise, but uh, the market seemed to digest those transactions pretty well. Definitely. Looking ahead, I know uh, we do have a Fed meeting coming up at the end of this month. Are people starting to look forward to that? It's definitely a uh, topic of conversation, and it seems like on the back of some of the uh, prints that we've seen over the last couple of weeks, the CPI and PPI and retail sales, um, it seems like the market is pricing in a 25 basis point hike. Very good. Well, thanks for your time. We'll see. Uh, keep, keep our eyes on it. Thanks for your time this week, Morgan. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks.